All right. Hey guys, I'm gonna show you something else I can, I've can. i learned how to do. It's a paracord bracelet. Oops. Looks like this one is done. Well, paracord keychain, not a bracelet, but it's a similar operation. You could make this long enough and make it a bracelet. Um, we got our paracord. Make sure it's at all even. Usually, this is the shorty big short strand. Let's, there we go. So, this one. And we're going to slide this holder over here. And let's see. started this is called a cobra wrap you take your one now as you're doing this you would be going over towards you over with this one here and this one goes over this one and this one goes in and through behind these two pieces so you're making all your loops right there tighten it and you'll make the next one the opposite way so this is the same piece that was over here before that came this way so using the same string See, in this string here, which was just over there. So it's going to be don't. So. And this is why they call it the Cobra. And you just repeat that. If you ever, if you ever lose where you are, Right, if you ever stop and you lose where you are, this hip part here that has the open, that hasn't been closed off yet, that's going to be your next one over. Okay, so that's going to be one. Just take this one. So this was this was our starting strand. This is how you can tell. This one's open. This one's closed. That was the last loop you made. See? Now this one's open and this one's closed. This was the one that was open before. So that's what you do if you ever get lost. You're like not paying attention, just watching something while you're doing this mindlessly. You go, oh, and somebody interrupts you and you go, oh, where was I? The open one is always your next loop. So you always take the one that's already that that's coming out of one and that's your starter string. That was the one you started with at the beginning. I missed. See, we all make mistakes. Yeah. 
And when I make these, I intentionally leave a loop down here. That's so you can hang it up or do whatever you need to. So, um, so we're going to go. With, And I measured these strand, these strings out to like 36 inches, which is three feet. So it's a yard of material. You might get one more loop out of this if you're really dexterous, if you got the fingers to do it. Now, I usually like to have enough here to loop around, but that's not going to happen today. So we're just going to tuck these back. What I do, and it looks, it, it it's, it's how I do it. What I do is I will take this. Buy yourself one of these. It's a nice little torch lighter. They're not expensive, like six bucks. Got it at Dollar General. This is the knife I use to cut. It's got like a plastic cover on this now, but you would pull this out, take the cover off, close it back down like this. And there's a little hook loop in there that you can, when the cover's off, the blade's exposed. You can. I put the cover back on because I don't want my blade resting out. I don't want anything happening untowards with it getting knocked down or you getting snagged because it's still can sharp. It's still sharp. It can cut you. So we're gonna take our torch. We're gonna put mash these together as best we can. That's gonna be hot. But once you melt that, you know, work it around and hide it as best you can. I went a little too short on this one, so it's not gonna hide the best it can, but it's good from one side. And that's where it comes together on the other side. So, eh, no, not that bad. So, there you go. That's a Cobra Weave Paracord Keychain. In the box with the rest of them. Alright. See you later.